April 2nd turned out to be a very active day in weather, and we did have a tornado touchdown in Min, Missouri, and Pilot Grove, Missouri, in Cooper County. That was rated an EF2 tornado, which is considered a strong tornado. Uh, that EF2 tornado on April 2nd in Pilot Grove did do considerable damage. So what is the EF scale? First of all, let's take a look at how it was created. And back in 1971, Dr. Ted Fujita did create the original Fujita scale for tornadoes to determine their strength, but it was enhanced in 2007 to include 28 damage assessments and to come up with a better view of what the wind was in the tornado and the width and path of that storm. So when survey teams go out, and they usually go out very soon after the storms move through to determine if it was a tornado and its strength, they do look at several things, including photos, aerial surveys, such as from drones or helicopters, uh, eyewitness accounts, and they look at radar data as well. From all that information, they do come up with the time it occurred, the path width, and the length of the tornado. Also, they determine the strength of the tornado, and that is the EF scale. So let's take a look at that EF scale and what it means. Uh, first of all, we start at the lowest level here. We start at an EF0, which is the weakest tornadoes. And an EF0 tornado is winds of anywhere from 65 to 86 miles per hour. They tend to do minor damage, but can do some damage to homes, including gutters and siding and some shingles. Also, some large branches broken off of trees with an EF0. Now EF0 and EF1 tornadoes are the most common and an EF1 has winds up to 110 miles per hour doing some moderate damage. It can cause some roof damage, broken windows, small trees can be uprooted and poles can be topped over. But when we get to an EF2 strength, that's winds of 111 to 135. We're looking at considerable damage, and this is the damage we saw in Pilot Grove on April 2nd. We can see cars flipped over, we can see poles knocked over, larger trees can be uprooted, and roofs can be ripped away from homes. An EF2 is considered to be a strong tornado. But when you get up to an EF3, an EF4, and 5, those are less common, but they do happen. An EF3 tornado, that has winds of up to 165 miles per hour. It can do severe damage. We're talking entire floors of buildings destroyed and vehicles displaced. Bark can be stripped from trees with an EF3. And when you get to the EF4, and again, EF4s and 5s are more rare, but they do happen. You can have extreme to incredible damage. We're talking uh, most homes leveled or just completely blown away with an EF4 or EF5 tornado. So those are, of course, the worst, but they are also very rare. We don't see them too often, fortunately, but they can happen. So we are still seeing severe storm season ramping up. In general, we see the highest amounts of tornadoes in April and May, May being the highest on average. We've already seen an active season and we're just getting started. So make sure you're weather aware in the coming weeks and months and keep an eye on the weather with us here at KRCG TV.